Hey guys, it's Guru Mike Pan of Binding Warrior Martial Arts, and I want to do something a little different for the uh, weekly video today. I want to cover a kettlebell exercise. Um, so what I have right here is my uh, trusted kettlebell. Um, I've had this for years. Um, I know a lot of y'all are very familiar with the kettlebell. Uh, whether you're into fitness or not into fitness, you probably know what this device is. Um, it's been really popular in fitness circles, conditioning circles for the last decade or so. Uh, due to its efficiency, um, you're able to work multiple muscle groups. It builds a great deal of functional, powerful strength that you need for fighting, as well as any sport that you do. Okay, and uh, I'm a huge fan of this as well. Uh, but one of the things I'm noticing is that there's a ton of martial artists out there, well-intentioned fighters and martial artists that are using this device, uh, but the movements that they're utilizing don't necessarily translate directly over to the ability to move with a weapon, for instance, or to punch or kick or what have you, okay? So um, I want to cover an exercise that I actually like to do. Um, usually, if I'm in a, especially if I'm in a time crunch, I don't have a ton of time to do anything, um, I'll usually do this particular exercise. Um, now, what I'm using is a 40-pound kettlebell. You do not necessarily need to do this with a 40-pound kettlebell, uh, but I personally like this way for this exercise, okay? And so what this exercise affords me the ability to do, and it gives me the ability to move. So for instance, if I'm moving with a cane or a stick, it allows me to train uh, the leg strength, the power that I need to do so. If you see the way I'm holding this weapon, this particular uh, tool I'm holding in my hand, um, it's for, it allows me this, the grip strength as well that I need to wield this weapon effectively, okay? Um, even if I'm going empty-handed, all right, it strengthens my grip. If I'm doing, uh, for instance, a lot of the uh, knife uh, locks and disarms that we do in our uh, weekly Atienza Kali class um, at our school, um, you know, a lot of these do require a degree of strength. So this actually uh, helps develop the grip strength for not just holding a weapon, but also controlling an armed attacker. Uh, for our boxing curriculum, strengthens our wrists, our upper body, for those things as well. Okay, so uh, let me just get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, many of you know this as a kettlebell halo, I just like to do it with a lower body exercise as well, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna grab it, just like so. If you notice, I'll get a little closer to the camera, you'll see I'm holding at a neutral grip. So the cannonball side is actually facing upwards, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna incorporate this into a lunge to start, okay? So I'll step forward, drop to one knee, keeping my back straight, my core is engaged. I bring this behind one ear, past one ear, behind my head and down to the middle again, to the, of my chest, okay? I rise back up and I flow to the opposite side. And I can repeat this for quite some time. Now this actually requires a great deal of coordination, right? Balance, strength, etc. okay? It's mimicking the same grip here that again, I've been using holding a stick, you know, holding my stance up, as well as controlling someone who's armed, okay? So this is a very valuable exercise. Now if I really want to challenge myself a little bit, I'll go laterally, I'll grab this kettlebell again. All right, from here, same position. I move to the side, bring it around one side. Same thing on the other end. And just kind of play with that a little bit. One side to the other. If I really want to make it more dynamic, I can just go forward here. Go to the right, then go to the left. It's a really great exercise for endurance, overall power, uh, very, very good for developing that strength again that we need for controlling an armed attacker or holding a weapon, 